Madam Clerk. Commissioner Varga. Here. Commissioner Palomero. Hmm. I don't see his name anymore here. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, I've texted him, so it actually his text didn't go through. Go ahead. Commissioner Haddis. Haddis is here. He's here. He just said he might have to have a phone call. Present. Okay. I was I was in I was in mute. Okay. Okay. Commissioner Dog. Here. Commissioner Baydoon. Here. Commissioner Ware. Present. Here, Marecki. Here, and um, Commissioner Palomera is trying. Yeah, I just. Yeah. You did? Okay. Yeah. He was having trouble connecting. You have a quorum present. Okay. Thank you. Next item. B, approval of the August 25th, 2020 meeting minutes. So move. Support, Dob. Okay, we have an approval and support. Are there any questions or comments on this? Okay, uh, let's just do a voice vote for those, for this one. All those in favor of the approval of the meeting minutes, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion passes. Next item, Madam Clerk. C, O business, there is none. Okay, next item. Item D1, under new business, communication from the Director of the Department of Public Services forwarding the May 2020 report of all complaint calls made to 1888 Road Crew. Okay, I'm okay, what? Oh, there he is. Here's Commissioner Palomero. I'm good, I'm, I'm in. Okay. <laughs> I'm in, and the, sun, and the sun is setting behind you. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome. Move okay, the next season file number one. Yep. Yeah, uh, Clerk, can you yeah. scroll this up a bit? What? Okay, why don't we take if if you don't mind, Commissioner Vargo, we could take the first three items together. Um, I just want to note that the second one is it says communication dated May thirteenth, but it is it is the June report. Um, so it is actually the June report. There was just a typo on the number two item. So do you mind, um, Commissioner Varga, if we take all three and we'll go through each one? That's fine. Okay. Support. Okay, support from Commissioner Ware. So on number one, are there any questions from the commissioners or anyone on the commission? Okay, number two, this is for the June report. And number three for the vehicle assignments. Lots of paperwork there. Okay, no questions. Okay, we have an approval and a support, uh, Madam Clerk. Um, well, why don't we just do a voice um, call with this one since they're all receiving files. So all those in favor of items one, two, and three, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, motion passes. Next item, Madam Clerk. Item four, requesting commission approval of a three-year sole source contract with AIS Construction Equipment Corporation. Okay. So move. Haddis. Okay. Support. All right. Okay. Are there any um, questions on this? from commissioners. Okay, we have um, an approval by Commissioner Haddis and support by Commissioner Baydoon. Um, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll on this? Commissioner Varga? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Dobb? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Weir? Yes. Chairman Recky? Yes. Motion passes. Next item. 
Item five, requesting commission approval of a two-year professional services contract with a one-year option to renew with Great Lakes Engineering Group. Okay. This is for- is Move approval. Okay. Um, so we have an approval by Commissioner Palmera. Support. Support by Commissioner Hattis. And this is just another group that's going to be doing the bridge um, inspections. So it looks like there's three groups that are going to go forward with this because there's so much work. So this is, this is another one of the groups. Any questions on this? Okay. All right. Um, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll on number five? Commissioner Varga? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Yes. Commissioner Hattis? Yes. Commissioner Dobb? Yes. Commissioner Baydoon? Yes. Commissioner Weir? Yes. Chairman Reiki? Yes. Motion passes. Next item, please. Item six, requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Inkster. Okay, good news for Inkster. I'll move approval, Commissioner Dobb. Okay. Support. Okay, we have an approval by Commissioner Dobb, supported by Commissioner Baydoon. Questions, comments on this item? Okay, Commissioner has his hand raised. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Commissioner Anderson. He's a, he's, a, he's a mute. Okay, Commissioner Anderson, you're mute. Sorry, thanks. Uh, I just wondered if there's someone there that could uh, answer a question on that. Uh, I see uh, Mr. Candrevis is on there, but I'm not sure if there's someone from uh, DPS or that could answer something, a question. Someone from the administration? Yeah, I'm sure we have everyone from the Yeah, I mean, we, we have Ron Agazinski and Beth Taylor on the line. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll ask it then. Uh, I, I see this is for uh, the Middle Belt Road uh, resurfacing uh, from Cherry Hill down to Michigan Avenue, uh, which was uh, sorely needed, certainly. Uh, it, the, the question I have is that uh, it has sat since sometime in, I believe in July, uh, they're partially done. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why, was, was there some delay or something approving the intergovernmental uh, uh, agreement or something? Uh, because it stopped and there hasn't been anything happening there. And it's been one lane going north, one lane going south with the center ripped out uh, and I just wonder if Ron or if you or Andy could give us an explanation of what happened. It's been a long delay. Elizabeth, are you online? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Ron Agasinski. Um, the, the delay, the underground governmental agreement has no effect on the construction work. I'm sure um, this is the work that was it's being done as scheduled according to our field office and if Elizabeth Taylor is on line. She yeah. Can... Okay. Yeah, this is Beth Taylor. Um, so, so just to clarify, Commissioner, your question is there is as it pertains to a construction delay? Yeah, there's, there's been uh, no activity on it for, uh, I, bl I believe it was back in July, late July. Uh, and they've ripped out the center two lanes, uh, but there's no traffic now uh, allowed in those center two lanes, only one uh, lane, the curb lane on the northbound and the southbound side. Uh, and, and it's just been at a, a stop uh, and there's not a piece of equipment on, on the site either. Okay, well, so I can speak to uh, the schedule for this week for that job was that they were supposed to start leveling, uh, putting down leveling course, but obviously today the weather um, has delayed the progress. With regards to, I know there was, you know, uh, adjusting structures 
that needed to get done before today's leveling. Um, I know that that work doesn't require really robust crews, and so maybe the perception was is that there wasn't um, construction equipment. You know, prior to that, we we also have that same contractor working on Merriman Road, and I know they've uh, they finished Merriman uh, right before the holiday. So, uh, you know, maybe there was, you know, some hopping back and forth between the two projects. Um, but I know that today was supposed to be, uh, was scheduled for leveling for that asphalt layer and then topping next week. Okay. Uh, so they're going to put a second layer of asphalt over once this leveling uh, layer is going on? Yes, sir. They will top, they'll top the whole job then. Once okay. the leveling uh, on the center lanes is completed. Okay, I, I was getting a lot of calls as to why it, it appeared as though there's no uh, no construction going on and no crews uh, on the site. And uh, I understand what you're talking about about the structures. You're probably talking about the drains and the manhole uh, structures. Yeah, and then there there was um, because that's a concrete road. There there was some conditioning and some. Uh, some concrete repairs, but those crews are much smaller, and they're they they only work in um, you know certain areas that are getting the attention. So it might it might have been perceived that there wasn't a lot of work going on. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I was I, I've been purposely going up and down that road since I noticed it and started getting complaints. Uh, but they felt it had been abandoned. But I'll I'll explain to the folks that. Uh, it contacted me and uh, so hopefully they'll get back to work at the weather is permitting or when it is permitting. Thank you. Madam Chair, if I can ask a question, just sure. it, Beth, Beth, is everything on, on target then? I mean, is everything being met currently with that project? Oh yeah, absolutely. And then in fact, um, the fact that it was, it had the weather cooperated, we'd be putting down leveling course. We're still planning on being topped off by uh, next week, which is ahead of schedule. Okay, all right, thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, we have an approval and support of this item. Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Commissioner Varga? Yes. Commissioner Palomira? Yes. Commissioner Hattis? Yes. Commissioner Dobb? Yeah, yes, excuse me. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Weir? Yes. Chair Marecki? Yes. Motion passes. Next item. Item seven, requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Highland Park. Okay, this is a park, park improvement. Approval approval. Okay. Support. Hattis. All right, we have an approval by Commissioner uh, Barga and supported by Commissioner Hattis. Any questions on this? It's a Highland Park, Highland Park project. Okay, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll on this? Commissioner Varga? Yes. Commissioner Palomero? Commissioner Palomero? And let's see. Why don't you go back to him? Okay. Commissioner Hattis? Yes. Commissioner Dobb? Yes. Commissioner Baydoun? Yes. Commissioner Ware? Yes. Chair Marecki? Yes. Um, let me see if he's muted. Is he still on here? He was on the you know, he was on um, his computer, right? I don't think, I don't see his name anymore on here. Okay. He must have All right. Name. Next item. Item eight, requesting commission approval of an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Westland. Okay. I'll move for approval. Right. Support. I'll support. support. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, we have an approval by Commissioner Baydu, supported by Commissioner Ware. Any questions on this? Y'all 
set there, Glenn? Commissioner Anderson? Oh, he's, he might be off. Okay, any yeah, questions? It's fine. it's fine. Okay, all right. Um, Madam Clerk, could you call the roll? Commissioner Varga? Yes. Commissioner Power. Commissioner Haddis? Yes. Commissioner Dobb? Yes. Commissioner Bay? Yes. Commissioner Ware? Yes. Chairman Racky? Yes. Items, item passes. Um, next item, please. E, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. Okay, we do have a such other matters. Um, is someone from the administration here to talk about? Yes, Commission Chair. Um, Beth Taylor will be requesting immediate consideration of a contract with Way Trim that's related to an MDOT contract on Oakville. Beth, are you there? Yes, yeah, I'm here. Uh, it, this is a project that we're doing on Oakville Wall Road uh, in Huron Township. Uh, it's a project that was let out in August, so last month. Um, and the, the this Wade Trim contract is for uh, construction engineering and oversight because it's an MDOT project in a local agency that's our obligated services. Okay, and you're gonna ask for immediate um, consideration on the full board, right? You're just giving us a heads up on this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Commissioners, do you have any questions on this project? I, I'll move for approval, Madam the Chair. It's in my yeah, thank You know what, uh, Commissioner Haddis, this is just an informational piece uh, because they're gonna be asking for immediate consideration at our next full board. So this is just so the commissioners know this is going to come up at the next I, full board. My question, if it's on this agenda, if it's approved, why they need for the full board, why we need immediate consideration? Beth, are you still there? It's not on this agenda, Commissioner. Oh. They uh, got it to us on Thursday evening, which didn't allow us enough time to get it processed. So it's actually not on this agenda. So the department is informing you that their intent is to ask the chair for immediate consideration so that it can go on the next full board agenda. Okay, sound reasonable. And then, and then all the information then, like our typical information, we will have that. Yeah. Okay, I'll withdraw the motion. Yeah, thank you. Um, I also had a such other matter. I was just um, texted, there's going to be a job fair on Wednesday, September 9th, which is tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Central Maintenance Yard in Romulus. And this is um, for DPS, so they're um, going to have a job fair tomorrow. In case you know anyone, I can uh, send you the flyer um, in case you know anyone that's looking for work. Also, I just wanted to note something that um, just to make sure all the commissioners know, when we, when we do these parks agreements with um, different cities and townships, I want you to all, and I'm sure most of you are aware of this, but I know some, some people weren't. It's written into the agreement that if your area has any kind of ribbon cutting or any kind of um, you know, TV spot or social media spot, that Wayne County is supposed to um, be notified of that. That's the administration and the commissioner. So um, if you're ever having a project and they're having some kind of social media type event, um, you know, make sure that you're aware of that and that you're part of that um, excitement <laughs> so that you can, um, you know, have your name out there and a picture of you at your park project. Okay, any other such other matters? Yeah, members. Madam Chair, I have, I raised my hand. I have a Oh, question. I'm sorry. I'm not That's seeing okay. this raised hand. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, a uh, question for Beth Taylor. 
I think she would be able to answer. The project on uh, Outer Drive between Michigan Avenue and Gulf of You, any idea the expected date of completion, Beth? Uh, yes, sir. So that project, uh, as, you, as you know, is moving along. Uh, it is scheduled to complete uh, by mid-November. Not to say that there may still be some spring restoration that takes place. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Next item, Madam Clerk. Public comments. Okay. Have we received any um, emails? I'm back. Oh. <laughs> welcome Just back. Just in time. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, and I can't hold it, and, and don't repeat what I said about Zoom. <laughs> we didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Madam, Madam Clerk, you received any emails pertaining to this committee? No emails, no. Okay. Can you unmute everyone and see if someone from the public would like to address? Yes. Yes. Okay, is there, looks like, okay. Hmm. Did you, were you able to unmute everyone? Yeah, I did. Okay, is there anyone from the public that would like to address the Committee on Public Services? Anyone, if you're on the phone, you can just introduce yourself. Okay, one last time. Anyone from the public that would like to comment to the Committee on Public Services? Okay, I don't see anybody in the chat room. Madam Chair, Madam yes. Chair. Yes. I'm sorry. I just got a text while uh, you were speaking. Uh, Ron, the area on Wyoming, on the south end of Dearborn, the, the, uh, under the bridge, the water is at a high level. The, the road is closed. I was there about 10 days ago with Steve Shea. What can we do, you know, as, as the county for that area to alleviate this problem? Every time we have heavy rain, you know, uh, there's no entrance into the south end basically because of that. Um, there's a, in planning mode, there's a, a future uh, pump house for that location there. However, at this time we don't have any schedule or funding for building a pump house. Yeah, that's what Steve, uh, Steve told us. But uh, so these people are going to live like this until there's funding for a pump house, huh? That's correct. <laughs> How much are pump houses? Probably about 500000 Okay. Yeah. Let me Anything else, Commissioner Bay Doom? No, that's it. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. well, my question, Madam the Chair. Yes. Situ situation like this where it's uh, close the road and it's important uh, entrance and exit to the south end. Uh, 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 to wait till we find funding, but I see it as an emergency situation. Uh, uh, if the flood it's uh, severe enough to stop the traffic and the road be closed, I think that should be put on the table as a, a, a emergency situation. Uh, and I, I don't know what uh, can we do under your leadership request some uh, uh, funding under emergency situation for situation like this. I agree. Okay, you know what, maybe I'll touch base with, um, with Bev and Ron and just see if maybe this can be a discussion um, point at a, at a committee meeting and see, you know, how often this happens and... Um, Every time we get a lot of rain. Yeah. Yeah, okay. because, you, you know, to tell the public you're going to live with it till we find funding for it. You know, it's not acceptable answer to the public, really. Yeah. Uh, when when somebody can't drive to go back home from work or going from work 
uh, from home to work. So I, I think we should pay attention to situation like that and uh, try to uh, get some funding for it right away and get to it and do it. Uh, to that point, uh, Ron, when did the county decide that they need a pump house at that location? When was this decided? I don't have that answer. Um, I can look it up for you and figure that out. I, I, I think the answer lay down with the drain commission too. Why the water, it's not a draining and why we need pump. They must have some uh, solution for it, uh, but uh, we need to, uh, 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 you know, have uh, Mr. Cadrillas to uh, uh, start lobby for funding for it. Okay, Madam Chair. Go ahead. I, I love your recommendation of setting this up for a discussion and looking yeah. holistically at the whole county and not just one or two areas because we know we have aging infrastructure and there are lots of demands. And uh, I don't uh, assume that one pump house would be the focus of the discussion, but we should talk about what, uh, what goes in the planning. I know that Rhodes has been looking at, Rhodes and Engineering have been looking at this for many years. Um, and there, I, I think the department will have a lot to report on this. So it should be a okay. Great, let's do that then. We'll set it up for a discussion item, um, either the next meeting or the one after that. I know some people are um, maybe taking some time off, some well-deserved time off, so maybe it'll be next meeting or the one after that. Okay, does that work, Commissioner Baydoun? Yes, it does, thank you. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, we're done with public comments. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Okay. The board. Okay. Approval and support. All in favor to adjourn. Say aye. 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 Okay. We, we are now adjourned. Thank you, everyone. See you at the next meeting. Hey, take.